everyone, Anna here one more time from Echo Live. Thank you so much for tuning in to our various live streams, helping you to check out what's been going on here at the Michigan Science Center today as a part of our Exalta Community Free Day celebrating their color of the year, Electrolyte. We have one more amazing guest star here to talk to us about an amazing color science fact. We're gonna talk to Paulette about our solar system buddies and talking a little bit about the question, what color is space? So we've got a pretty amazing program. If you've got any questions, definitely make sure you type them in the chat. Paulette would be happy to answer a few of those. So with that, I'm gonna let Paulette take it away. All right, hi everybody. So as Anna said, we're talking about what color is space today. When you look up into the nighttime sky, you see the stars, you see the moon, you see the nice black sky. But there's actually color up there as well. So the stars are not just black or not just white. They come in all sorts of different colors, as do our planet. So here we can see our planet. Thanks to our celestial buddies for joining us today. Um, we do sell these in our store and they're on loan. So um, we have, if we take a look at the Earth, we're able to see, we take a look at the Earth, we're able to see the blue of the ocean, the green of the, um, of the trees and the grass. We're also usually able to see some tan, some white from the clouds and white from the snow. I bet Michigan looks pretty white right now. Um, so when we look at the Earth, we're actually looking at different things on the surface that are different colors. Same thing when we're taking a look at Mars, our red planet. So here we have Mars, which has mostly iron oxide or rust in the soil. That iron oxide or rust makes it this sort of red color that we see here. We can also see a little tuft of white right here at the top, which is actually our polar ice cap. Instead of it being water ice like we have on the Earth, this is actually dry ice, so carbon dioxide ice. So Mars is a pretty cool planet. Now, on some of our other planets, it looks like our atmosphere is the difference. So for example, when we take our friend Uranus right here, when we take our friend Uranus and we take a look at it, we can see that it's a bluish, greenish color. Uranus is my favorite planet because I think the color is just so pretty. Now Uranus has methane in its atmosphere. That methane gas reflects sunlight and gives us that bluish, greenish color that we see. Um, so here we have our planet Uranus. Now I also said that stars are different colors up in the sky as well. For example, here we have our sun, and our sun is a yellow dwarf star. When we take a look at our star right here, Polaris, we'll see that it's a different color yellow. We can also see that Polaris has companion stars. These companion stars are a totally different color. They're blue. It turns out that the blue stars are hotter than the yellow ones, and the red ones are the coolest of all. So speaking of red, we've also been able to take a look at different gases creating plasma. So right here, we have neon gas. When we take a look at neon gas, when we create a plasma or a supercharged gas, we'll see that neon glows a red color. The last thing I want to show you today is one of the more abundant elements in our solar system, helium. So here we have helium. We're going to go ahead and put it in and light it up. And when we look at helium, we see sort of a yellowish, orangish, pinkish color. And I think it's super pretty. And it is the second most abundant element in our universe. So when you go outside and look up at the sky, try and see all of the different colors in the stars and in the planets. Specifically, take a look for Mars right now, because Mars is up in our nighttime sky. It's big and it's red. Take a look and see some of the blue and red stars that are different than the white ones. Thanks so much, Paulette, and thank you to all of you who are tuning in here live 
to check out the activities that we have set up for our Exalted Community Free Day. We've had a ton of fun. Keep your eyes out for more Community Free Days like this one and stop by the Science Center to try to experience some of this amazing science yourself. We are so thankful to Exalta and our partners Ducks Unlimited and Six Rivers for um, coming together for this amazing free day. It's been so much fun. If you've got any questions, keep typing them in the chat and we will see you all on Wednesday for another episode of Echo Live. See you then.